welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green, and I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here to do this show for you. So let's get started right away. First and foremost, this show airs on WSCS, all of its streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV, all of its streaming channels, all of the blog talks, talk, all of the podcast, blog talk also, it airs on blog talk, all of the podcasts and radio stations, well, the radio stations it airs on, not every radio station. Um, so um, if you are watching on or listening on any of those uh, venues, thank you so very much for joining us here today. So grateful to have you here today with us. If you would like to join us live um, every Monday and Wednesday, uh, the show goes live on YouTube at noon central and you can call in 845-277-9131 okay so if you have a question you want to connect to somebody on the other side the call-in number is 845-277-9131 if you're on youtube you can absolutely put your question into youtube i will get to it if and when i can now I'm going back and forth between the call log and YouTube. So sometimes I might skip a number. Sometimes I might miss a question. It is absolutely not intentional. Just re-put your question in and I will try to remember to get to you. Okay. I want to say hi to Stevie, my youngest brother. And I hope you are having an amazing day, Stevie. I also want to let everybody know I will never, ever reach out to you for um, anything a to tell you you need a reading or any kind of work or anything like that. If you would like a reading, you reach out to me. There's um, two ways to do that. My website, T-O-N-I-G dot info, or my business number, 414-897-2869. But do not, um, if somebody reaches out to you, especially on a social media venue, it's not me. Okay? All righty. I want to say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hey, Genevieve and Heather and Sally um, and Anne, I hope y'all are having great a great day today. Um, okay, I'm going to get started right away. And I want to uh, go take callers. So when I call your area code, when I say your area code, please give me uh, your first name and where you're calling from. Have a very spe specific question available um, or a connection from the other side. If you want to connect to someone on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. And what else? If you have a question for somebody on the other side, when you give me their first name and their relationship to you, any questions that you have for them? Hey, Amy, how are you? Is it choppy audio for everybody? Um, let me know how the audio is, everybody. I'm going to go to the first caller while we are doing that. Hey, Amy, thank you for letting me know that. I'm going to go to 773. 773, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Thumbs up, everybody. Hi. Hi, what's your Hi, name? This is Elizabeth from Chicago. Hey, okay. So the choppy audio is maybe blog talk because I can hear that coming through with your call. If you are on speakerphone, please take me off. If I'm playing in the background, please turn me down. And how can I help you today? Um, I am dealing with an injury from work from five years ago that's dragging on in court. And I'm not getting any medical help. I'm not getting any financial help from this. And I'm wondering if, I don't know, maybe somebody has a message for me how I'm going to get through this. Okay, so, um... I know that this audio is very, very choppy, and I'm sorry, everybody, but
but her question is she's dealing with an injury from work and um yes. it's been going on for five years and she doesn't have any financial help or support coming in and she doesn't know how she's going to get through it and continue on until I'm guessing until the case settles. Okay. That's, yes. that's what I'm, I'm guessing. What I'm going to say here is, um, well, the biggest thing I hear is that you are going to be able to You know, I'm really not, the answer I thought I was going to get, I'm not getting. And um, first and firm, foremost, I'm really sorry about your situation. I'm very sorry about um, what's going on for you. And they're really not giving me a specific way that you can survive this or get through this. Um I know that typically I would say workers' comp, but I'm not even hearing that. I feel like workers' comp has bailed. They're not doing anything yes. they don't have to do at this time and point. And even if you do have legal representation, which I'm assuming you do, uh, legal representation can't make, is not making workers' comp pay. Um, Correct. So the one thing that I am hearing for you is that you may have to go on and there's absolutely no shame in this. It'll just be paid back out of the case. If you have to go on some kind of government um, assistance, which might not be the amount you need, but at least it will be something. Um, government. Yes, I'm getting that now. Yes. Okay. Thank you uh, for the confirmation. I do feel like that is going to be something that's going to help you. The only other thing I can get is, you know, I do get that sometimes places like or facilities like workers comp try to drag things out because they know people can't make it. And the one thing I'm hearing right. is tighten it up as tight as you can, which I know you have, and do not let them yes. win. Do not let them win. Um, I feel like within a year or at the six-year mark, this is going to all be done and over, and you will have oh. resolve. But you're going to have to make a choice at that point of a, can I let this be the amount or can I let this be the total? And that's your choice of yeah. what you do. But I'm going to tell you it will be fair, but you might not feel like it's just. And um, Correct. But that it's going to be a choice between if you let it go to year seven or eight, there won't be much of a difference in the total amount. OK, so uh -huh. in the end, it will be the same amount <clears throat> or near the same amount, but you will not kind of suffer as long financially the way that you're suffering right now. I hope that makes sense to you, sweet girl. It, 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 it does, yes. Okay. So right around the six year, maybe it's at five and a half year mark, they really start to talk about, they're going to want to, I'm going to tell you something. They're going to want to clean this up this year. They're good for whatever reason. They're going to want to clean this up this year, meaning they're going to want to <clears throat> resolve it this year. And I feel like when they resolve, if it if they can resolve it this year, hold a line, have a number in your head that you won't go below for certain things. Remembering a lot of things need to be paid back, like everything you're living off of right now from, <clears throat> excuse me, the government 
will have mm-hmm. to be paid back by workers comp but hold a number mm-hmm. in your mind and i feel like that number will come to you and i'm going to tell you having been in a couple of accidents myself the amount of people think from tv or whatever that they're you know the amount people get oh that you know, she's living. No, it is never worth the pain or the suffering or the anything, the loss of the um, livelihood. It's not worth, it's never worth it. It's never like every day, all day long, I would choose my full life over any injury. Um, and and exactly any pain or suffering and so i think but the bigger message i'm getting for you is when this comes don't let anybody know cut it at the quick mm-hmm. to, and don't um and i'm hearing that song wanna be a baller shot caller um don't be like making it rain for anybody don't help Like you need, it's almost like you need to take this money and um, forage it, put it away someplace safe, but don't, don't help others out because chances are if you help them, you will not get it back. It will not come back to you. Correct. Learn this lesson that you've already learned and push it forward. Just keep pushing it forward and you are going to be just fine. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and we will like, I'm going to do a clearing right now. Anybody who is waiting on money, whether it be from something like this, from a job, unemployment, all that is stopping or blocking this money from coming to us has been cleared. I get a no. We're going to clear that. We are going to get more than a fair amount. I get a yes. So let's strengthen that. (laughs) Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. So let's get through that. Let's get this, these blockages. And sweetie, I want you to re-listen to this every day so that you can um, make sure that anything that's stopping or blocking you from getting this money or getting the fair amount will be cleared away right away. Okay, sweet girl? Okay, thank you. You are so, so welcome. You have an amazing day, sweetie. You too. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I am going to do a clearing. Somebody online was talking about their home, and in their home they often feel um, sick. So we're going to clear everybody's home. So I'm going to say um, our homes are cleared. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Our homes are healthy. Again, I get a no. Uh, Let me know, everybody online, let me know how that feels. Um, And this does all, all of these clearings work for anybody listening, anybody watching, anybody re-watching, re-listening on any venue. And it doesn't only work the first time. If you come back in a week and you listen to it or you play that part of it every single morning, um, it will clear your home every single morning. And um, I hope that that does help. Um, yeah, there is a there is a lot going on out there, isn't there? I'm just going to leave that at that, and I'm going to go to 850-850. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's Michelle, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Michelle. How are you today? Hey, awesome to talk to you again. Oh, well, I got a lot on my mind. My brother, I think, is dying and he's like, no one's going to know when I die. I'm, no one's going to know for a couple days. You know, he's just so secretive and controlling. And I got my other sister that's on drugs and she's being evicted and wants to move into the house and trying to control my brother. And then it's really weird. My dad went through a lawsuit years and years ago. Of course, he's passed away now. So he put the house in my mom and my brother's name. But 
on the deed, it says the property is all three of his siblings. So I'm like, and then my brother's going to try to give the, the house to my nephew. And I'm like, oh, my God, where do you see the outcome of all this? Okay. It's like I'm kind of in the middle. And it's like I don't know what to do because I'm, I'm my mother's power of attorney. And I want to be right in God's eyes and do the right thing. You know what I mean? Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. That's that's kind of a lot, and that's typically more like a full reading because there are like three or four different elements that I think you're asking about in that statement. So I'm going to bring it down to maybe one element, one solid question, which would be, I do you want to know where the house ends up or how the house ends up? I guess the house and the property, how do you see that ending up in the end? Okay, the first thing I hear is fair. I feel like it doesn't matter where somebody wants it to go. I feel like it should just be put in a statement in the way of this to everyone involved. Listen, we are going to, the this deed is in three you know, the siblings' names, we're going to A, either sell it and split it equally amongst those siblings, or B, if one sibling wants to give it to somebody, um, they can buy out the other two siblings. And that's, or other three other siblings, and it's just that simple. And if they don't agree, just tell them, well, this will be in court a lot longer than any of us will be around. So let's just come to a fair agreement. Okay. Um, I do feel like what I'm hearing as of right now, and of course, anybody can throw a wrench in this and make it not happen. But as of right now, what I'm hearing is this property will sell and the funds will be split. Um, and that's just going to be the end of it because that is just how it's going to go. It's the way it's going to be. I feel like the, 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 the property will be sold the funds will be split and um, whatever any whatever plans anybody else has, that's that's kind of on them. That's kind of I hear that song like that's on you, babe. That's not on me, babe. Like that's their that's a that's their problem, whatever that is. Um, and at the end of the day, one of the things I would say if I were in your shoes, perhaps people are much better with analogies than they are with reason. Um, so if, if I were in your shoes, one of the things I would be saying from the get go is, um, number one, don't ask me to do anything you yourself wouldn't do. Or what don't ask me to accept anything you yourself wouldn't accept. And number two, um, don't don't do anything that's not equal. At the end of the day, this is about all things being equal. It doesn't matter if your sister's on drugs. She's still your sister. She still gets her fair share. If she wants to shoot it all up her arm, that's on her, babe. That's on her. In the eyes of all that is, it's not up to you to say because of choices she made, she doesn't get her fair share. Um, how she uses that, that's her problem, not yours. You cannot, nobody can control that amount or, or put her on an allowance. Even if you want to, she's a full grown adult. Unfortunately, that that's just the way it's going to be. Um, number two, nobody gets to state what they want over anybody else because they're not more important. And that's what I have for you. Okay, love. Thank you so much. Yeah, my 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 brother wanted to give the property to my nephew, who is raising uh, my nephew because my sister died, and I don't have a problem with that, you know. But I think my other sister is going to cause problems. You know what I mean? 
but you've been really wonderful in helping me out, you know? No, yeah, you're so welcome. And I'm so grateful that it was helpful. And um, I will be here again to help you in the future. And thank you so much for calling in, love. Thank you. And God bless. God bless, love. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Um, a lot of people online are saying that they felt uh, the clearing. Um, and um, hey, Rebecca, how are you? And, you know, he, here's the thing. Um, you might, Anne keeps saying she feels sick in her house. I would get a a mold kit and check if there's mold in your house. And um, that might be a really good place for you to start. And I don't know that that it's that for sure, but I would definitely check that, sweetie. And I can't remember if I just did 614, but I'm going to go to 614 and see. 614, what's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Wilson. I'm calling from Ohio. Hi there. How are you today? I'm doing good. Sorry for the background noise. I'm walking outside. Okay. Can you? Are you on speakerphone or? No, I took it off. I was on okay. AirPods. Excellent. Before, how, now. how can I help you, love? <laughs> um, I was wondering what's coming up for me in love. Okay, that's a lot of noise in the background. So while I answer that, I'm just going to put you on mute. Um, don't go any place. I'm going to mute you just so that we don't hear all that noise in the background because that is, um, that's a little distracting. So what's coming up for you in love? Um, there are some changes coming in and you're going to have to make some choices. Um, Mid-March, it feels like things are going to I don't know if it's things are just going to turn for you or turn around for you, but mid-March is going to bring in a lot of changes for you, and then you're going to have to make some choices. Something you weren't aware of in the past is going to pop up, um, almost like information or an answer to a question that you've been looking for. And again, you're asking about love, so I'm assuming this is all about love. Um, some information is going to come in or something's going to pop up, an answer to a question possibly. And after you get that, you're going to be able to move forward full speed ahead. And you're going to be able to make any changes that you want to make or, or choices that you want to make. I am going to tell you by the end of March, the situation that you are in right now is going to be very different than it is right now. I think I said that correctly. By the end of March, okay, the, the way things are right now, by the end of March, they will be very different than they are right now. I think, I think I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> okay, anyway, I hope that was really, really helpful for you. I hope that answered your question. I hope it helped you. Um, and I will tell you, in June, if you're in a relationship right now um, or talking to somebody right now, I feel like those are the changes that are coming in. But either way, in June... Somebody brand new is coming in for you. And this brand new person in June is going to take you down a whole new road. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, thank you so much for calling in. I'm sorry I had to mute you during um, your answer, but I hope that answer was helpful. I'm going to go to 509. Whew, 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Erica, and I'm calling from Washington State. Mm -hmm. Hey, Erica, how are you today? Um, I'm good, thank you. Um, I, I want, I would like like a mediumship message. Um, my grandpa just had his first um, heavenly birthday, 
Aww. recently. And um, yeah. I love that. What's your grandpa's first name, love? First name is Jose. Jose? Yes. Okay. It's so funny. Okay. So I don't, I don't know if you're watching, but for those of you watching, as soon as she said mediumship, I saw a flash of light and I kept hearing Joe, Joe, Joe. So there's that. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. Um, so the first thing that I want you to know is, um, the first thing I'm hearing is safe and sound, safe and sound, safe and sound. Um, there is no time. There is no reality. The way we think of reality, it's very different. It's very different. It's very, well, the word cosmic is coming through from your grandpa. Um, he is, to, okay, this, I... I hope this makes sense to you, and I hope it is uh, helpful for you. He is saying, take care of, take care of. Now, once he says, take care of, I don't hear anything else. So I don't know if he's asking you to take care of your mom or your dad or yourself, but he's saying, take care of, and then it just cuts out. So I'm going to try to get a, a just a... A little like a little bit more on that uh-huh um oh okay well that yeah that's poetic when I asked him who do you want or wh what what should she take care of he said life take care of your life take care of your life make make your life how you how you um I think I know what he's trying to say, but it's like kind of broken. So make your life how you want it, how you see it in your mind, make it or how you want it in your mind, make it that way in your reality. Um, make sure that you are taking care to do that. Make sure that you are taking care to make your life the life that you want. Or like if there is something that you're like, man, I wish I, I wish I could do this or I wish I could have that just don't say I wish, just move forward and start making it that, like having that. And then he okay. wants to say, tell them, tell them I'm okay. Tell them peace, um, peace is with me. Tell them peace is with me, peace is in me. And tell them I am also with them. Tell, Let them know that I am in... Okay, I, I'm going to say it the way he's saying it, but then I'm also going to give a little explanation. I am in their energy. This just means he's with them. He's always around them and with them. I hope everybody enjoyed this show today. Uh, please remember, you are loved beyond what you can imagine. I love you so stinking much, each and every one of you. And just because somebody doesn't say, I love you, it doesn't mean they don't love you. Maybe you know, people get busy, they have whatever. So don't, don't, don't make that kind of assumption. And I just want to say, I'll do, I will for sure be back Monday with a show at noon. Although I'm going to, I say this every weekend, I'm going to try to do a show this weekend. I promise you I am. Until then, please go make the miracles in your life. Just go make them happen. Uh, I'll see you soon and take care. Mm -hmm.